Hello, but so, so let's see the question. And the question says that the lower end of a capillary tube of diameter 2 mm is deep 8 cm below the surface of water in a beaker. So, what is the pressure required in the tube in order to blow a hemispherical bubble at its end in the water? So, the surface tension of water is given. 7.3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 newton per meter. Density of water is given 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. Acceleration due to gravity small g equals to given 9.8 meter per second square. And one atmospheric pressure equals to given 1.013 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square or Pascal. Also calculate the excess pressure inside the bubble. So here we question ko two part diya hai. First part mein hum logo total pressure required find karna hai and second part mein excess pressure find karna hai inside the soap bubble so first hum log dekhte hain yahan pe kaun sa key concept use hoga so yahan se hum log bol sakte hain yahan pe hum log use kar sakte hain key concept here we are using is total pressure and the formula for total pressure we can written as here we can written as total pressure equals to atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to depth or height plus excess pressure. So, using this formula, we can solve the first part and for second part we can written as for hemispherical bubble we can say that excess pressure we can written as p suffix ex equals to we can written as 2 multiplied by sigma divided by r here sigma is the surface tension and r is the radius of capillary tube. So, first, some look at the question. Pe kya -kya value diya hua hai. So, question pe diya hua hai, the value of atmospheric pressure is we can written as 1 atm. It is given 1.013 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Newton by. Newton per meter square or Pascal and density of water rho suffix W equals to this given 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. Acceleration due to gravity G equals to given it is 9.8 meter per second square. The value of height H equals to it is given 8 centimeter which we will convert into meter. So therefore here we will get 0 0.08 meter and the value of diameter of capillary tube D equals to it is given 2 mm. So therefore, here we will get radius r equals to 1 mm, which we will convert into meter. So therefore, here we will get 10 to the power minus 3 meter. And the value of surface tension sigma equals to it is given 7.30 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 newton per meter. Here we will use the total pressure formula use karke pressure required. Here we will use the total pressure equals to the value of atmospheric pressure is 1.013 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 pascal plus density of water is 1000 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by the value of height is 0 0.08 plus here we can write 2 multiplied by the value of surface tension is 7.30 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 divided by the value of radius is 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So, as a further solve karne ke baad, hum logo total pressure ka value milega 1.02 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 Pascal. Now, coming to excess pressure in the, inside the soap bubble, which you can written as P suffix EX equals to 2 sigma divided by R. So, now yaha pe value put karde hai. So, hum logo milega 2 multiplied by 7.30 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 which is equal to we will get 
146 पास्कल सो यहां से हम लोग बोल सकते हैं हम लोग का फाइनल आंसर फॉर फर्स्ट पार्ट टोटल प्रेशर इक्वल्स टू 1.02 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 10 टू द पावर 5 पास्कल एंड एक्सेस प्रेशर वी कैन रिटर्न एज एक्सेस प्रेशर इनसाइड सोप बबल इक्वल्स टू यू विल गेट 146 पास्कल सो होप यू अंडरस्टूड इट वेल बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू